I'm going to show you how to perform an ANOVA test, uh, at least get the test statistic, uh, if you don't want to use a spreadsheet, uh, but you've got to perform the statistic on uh, several categories, like in this case. So the first thing I'll do is copy the data. Now I'm going to use this website, Social Science Statistics. Uh, I'll link to it in my YouTube um, uh, description of the video, but if uh, you don't see this description, then go to www.socsci-statistics.com slash test slash ANOVA, and you'll get here. Um, so the problem with what I just did is I copied and pasted several categories at once, but this only wants one at a time. So I am going to use a spreadsheet just to get the data uh, one column at a time. Now I'm pretending like I copied the data that was in rows. As you see here, I'm going to show you how to copy it, um, uh, change that row data into columns, just in case you're working with a problem that has the data in rows instead of columns. So you just select all the data, edit, copy, and then maybe somewhere down here, click below your data, paste, uh, transposed. So that's under paste special. And then I delete the row data. So now my data is in columns. So I can copy one column at a time into this social science statistics. Now it is possible that you get some extra space characters in here. So for example, let's say I copy over here. The way you can detect, you can't visually see the spaces, but the website here will throw an error. So what you can do is to make sure that you have no space characters is you can make sure by selecting all the data, you don't have any of these long running uh, uh, blue lines in my case. So I'm gonna select that and delete it. Double check the rest of them don't have those extra spaces and we should be good to go. So now I'm gonna hit calculate. I see a success and I can scroll down and this results detail, that's my ANOVA table. Uh, and I have my F test statistic here. Down here I have my P value and uh, it gives me essentially whether or not to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, that's all there is to it.